Hey, everybody do me a favor real quick. On your iPhone, ask Siri. Hey Siri, who's the best team in the NFL? <laughs> First, let us start with a recap. What up is YouTube? What they do, Kenny X? Kenny X, Chris here with the new installment, what I'm going to call uh, Population One for what will be my uh, input or previews or recaps of any Miami Dolphins games I'm going to be doing. Um, to explain the title of Population One, uh, I think it was Mercury Morris, uh, one of the running backs from our 1972 Super Bowl championship team that went undefeated. Uh, he dubbed the Miami Dolphins team that won the Super Bowl without a loss on for the whole year uh, we say they live in Perfectville and Perfectville has a population of just one team and that's just us the Miami Dolphins from the 1972-73 year so yeah I'll just say that to explain why I call this uh, series of videos uh, the name population one that's where it comes from that's what that's what inspired it so to speak but yeah, piggybacking off my uh, game preview, where I originally thought that in order for us to get this win against the Oakland Raiders, we would have to establish the run and prevent the Raiders from doing so. Seems as though we successfully did neither of those things. <laughs> However, we, we did still pull out that W, which is the important part. Uh, the majority of the first half saw the Raiders dictate field position, and as a result, the Dolphins got off to somewhat of a slow start. Uh, Derek Carr... The quarterback was able to find Jordy Nelson open early and often, and he hurt us with it multiple times. Uh, our defensive secondary took a while to find its footing without Rashad Jones back there, which I guess you could say was pretty predictable. Uh, Mari Cooper, however, did not have a good homecoming as he dropped, uh, simply didn't make the play on several third down opportunities that would have moved the change for the Raiders against us. Even with the absence of Khalil Mack, though, the Raiders pretty much shut down our run game. Uh, Ryan Tannehill had an 18-yard improvised run that by itself made him our team's leading rusher for the game. So that tells you about how our run game went. Tannehill, though, he had a, and our offense as a whole was much more effective in the quote-unquote passing game. I put the word passing there in quotation marks because a lot of the passing offense came from some shovel pass type jet sweep end around double reverse what I'll call the Miami special rendition of the Eagles Philly special type of play that really just took advantage of the speed we have in guys like Jakeem Grant and Albert Wilson that the Raiders simply didn't have an answer for on defense and that was pretty much the main deciding factor enabling the Miami Dolphins to remain undefeated and had a hungry and talented Oakland Raider team in third straight loss. Much credit to whoever's calling plays for us. Um, they got very creative and it made the game real exciting. Overall, it was an ugly game. Uh, one of the marks of a good team is that they find ways to win ugly games against good opponents. Shout out to my man Xavier Howard with his not just one but two clutch interceptions adding to the other couple of occasions he's already bailed us out of grim situations we find ourselves in so far this season. Howard really is a huge reason our record currently stands at 3-0 as the Miami Dolphins remain what is uh, only three. NFL remaining teams with the so far unblemished record, the other two being the Kansas City Chiefs and Los Angeles Rams, neither of which are on this year's regular season schedule, so it'll be an interesting storyline to follow and see how long or how close either of these teams can come to perfect field, where there is currently a population of just one, as spelled out earlier in the video. Uh, next Sunday, the Dolphins are back on the road up to Foxborough, Massachusetts to play the hated New England Patriots who star quarterback Tom Brady has impacted the league and sport of football in general in a way that we'll probably never see undone. Uh, some effects of which have already hurt the Dolphins directly as defensive man William Hayes is injured for the rest of the season having torn his ACL by going out of his way to avoid landing on rated quarterback Derek Carr with his full body weight while sacking him. A violation that now falls under the what is a too big of an umbrella of the penalty we know is uh, roughing the pass or unnecessary roughness. Uh, one of the many modifications we've seen the sport make during the overall sissification of the Brady era. 
but we'll say the rest of that for the Patriots game review. Uh, final score of the Dolphins Raiders game was 28 to nothing, uh, 28 to 20. I'm sorry, in favor of the Miami Dolphins, of course. Uh, wish the Raiders luck for the rest of the season, and here's to the Dolphins continuing to find ways to win football games. Fins up, Kenny at Chris signing out. See ya. Hey, everybody, do me a favor real quick. On your iPhone, ask Siri. Hey Siri, who's the best team in the NFL? <laughs> uh. First, let us start with a recap. Yeah.